I'm Britta and this is Jeff with Best Tops Marketing Team. And today we're going to show you how to do an installation on this SuperTop NX on the 2010 JK we have here behind us. The SuperTop NX is just like the factory soft top, but it's even got some added features. That's right. So we're going to show you how to do the installation step by step. This is actually a fairly simple installation. There's a lot of steps to it, but none of them are overly complicated. And I think most people can get this done in about two hours. That's right. So the first thing we're going to do is open the box and show you what comes inside. It's cold in Denver this week, so we had this sitting out in a heated room. We want to let the fabric relax a little bit. It makes the installation a lot easier. The first thing you want to do is pull out the install guide and match each of the pieces in the box with a description. Well, let's start with two side windows. Yep, two side windows. The rear window. The complete fabric deck with the header assembly, which is already attached. Door surrounds, left and right. The bow kit. The rest of the bow kit. And in this bag, the tailgate bar and the top arch. And then finally, you're going to have a bag with all the small hardware parts included. The first step is to install the bow mount bracket onto the sport bars. You are going to need to unzip your sport bar cover and then just put this in right here. And put this in right here and get it nice and tight. And then put this back over it and zip it back up. If you've already had a soft top installed on your Jeep, you're going to want to take off the old bow mount brackets and put the new ones that came with your Super Top NX. They're adjustable and the holes are a slightly different size. The second step is to install the door rails. You have two of them, one for each side. The corner here is going to face the rear of the vehicle. Line up the pin on the bottom of the door rail with the hole in your belt rail on your Jeep. And then just use these knobs to go through the sport bar and tighten them down. The next step is to install the top arch bar, which Jeff has here. Protective paper, just peel that right off. And the purpose of the top arch bar is to keep your soft top nice and tight and to prevent puddling. It's a great feature that Best Top has added. So now we need to assemble the back bow, and this time you're going to want to make sure that this quick release pivot knuckle goes to the outside of the vehicle. So this goes on this side, and we're just going to slide that in there and put the screw back in. Next we need to install the straps from the front bow to the rear bow, and sometimes we find it easier just to attach the rear bow to the vehicle first and then do that. We need to put the bows onto the header, and in order to do that, we have to take this little tab off. It's already screwed down, but we have to undo that just so we can get to the right screws. So we have some of these with self-tapping heads. You can see that's kind of a little different kind of point on them. That makes their own thread holes when they go into the metal later on. And right now what we need are just a few of these guys, eight by half inch pan head washers. Washers already attached. All right, next we're going to install the front bow into your header assembly. And the way that you can tell which side it goes on is that the pivot knuckle needs to face in, and then this tab down here needs to be towards the outside. A lot of people get this a little confused. Um, and also, this tab here is going to point down when it's on your vehicle. But because we're installing this upside down, it's facing up right now. Next, you're going to install the foam tape to the header. All right, next you need to install the center bow into the header assembly. And the center bow is going to be the one that has these straps attached to it, or as the install guide calls them, the stay pads. And you want to make sure that the stay pads 
run down and face the back of the vehicle. So this is the front because the header is here and the back is at the end of the fabric. You're going to need the silver bolt, a bushing, and then another bushing, and finally your nut. Just go ahead and tighten those down and just do it on both sides. Now you just need to attach the strap that's attached to the center bow. Make sure there's no twists in it and it's all straight. Wrap it around the top of your rear bow and line the holes up in the strap with the holes in the bow and then just use the three screws on each side to attach it. All right, then you need to attach the cable spring, which is this here, to the bracket on the bow. And then once it's on, you'll need to crimp it into place. All right, now you need to attach the side bows to this bracket here. And then your rear bow is going to attach to the bracket that has three holes, like you'll see in this one. That's so you can adjust the top later, but for now, put it to the hole that's closest to the sport bar, because it'll be the loosest fit, and you can always come back and tighten it up later. All right, next you want to attach the header loosely, so put it through the loop, but don't pull it down all the way, because you can tighten it later. And then you're going to secure the rear corners of your fabric to the tub of the vehicle. And it's helpful if you just pull down and use the belt rail system to attach the plastic canards to the tub. And it's going to give you a nice tight fit. This is one of those things that's going to get easier and easier, but the very first time you put it on, this, tight, this top can be very tight. Which is good, because you want it to be nice and tight. We have four screws in the back here. These tabs wrap around the bar, and then you just screw this into the back bow, and that holds the fabric down back here. And now we attach the center bow to the fabric, also with a few of these little screws, into the pre-drilled hole. So that's it, you're almost done. The whole top's on. The only thing you have left to do is to install the rear and the side windows. But you can actually drive around with your Jeep like this. Oh, for sure. In fact, it's almost recommended on a cold day like it is here. If we drove this around for a little while with the top on just like this, the fabric kind of relaxes, it gets a little easier. It would actually make putting the windows in a bit simpler. So there you go. Now we'll show you how to put in the rear and the side windows. There, can you get it now? Yep. There we go. Okay, so we took this corner off just to help get that window started. And again, it's like 35 degrees out today, so it is quite chilly. We almost recommend like 70s to install these. It makes it a lot simpler. So we just disconnected this a little bit to get the window started. Now we'll put this back on. Finish the window. Here's a little trick with the windows. You wanted a nice tight top and right now you've got it. So if you're having trouble getting these windows zipped all the way around, just be patient with them. Let it sit for a while, come back to it later. If you can't get it all the way down, leave it up for just a bit. Now that the rear window's zipped in to place, you just need to put in the tailgate bar. It's pretty simple to do. You want your retainer clips 
the pieces on the end to face down. And then there's a tubing on the window that needs to slide into this slot here. And you'll want the rubber Weber stripping at the bottom to face down. And then you need to just clip in the retainer clips onto the tub of the vehicle. All right, only thing left now is to put in the side windows. You have a le left and a right, of course. And sometimes to start the zipper, the zipper attaches up here. You can just hold the window into place by using the Velcro there just to get the zipper started. And there you have it. Side windows are in and you're all set. The last thing you want to make sure to do is to completely latch down to your header in the front. All right, so that's it. We just finished installing this Super Top NX on this 2010 two-door JK. And all in all, it really wasn't that bad. It took us a couple hours, but I'm pretty confident that most people can do this back at home. If you want to learn more or check out any other Best Top products, just go to bestop.com or stop by a local Best Top authorized dealer installer near you.